Hello and welcome to our quick run through of the expansions for Zombicide. Zombicide is an odd one, as it has both expansions and standalone core sets that can be treated as a starter game or an expansion. I will try to look at them as both. This review only covers the four big box expansions for Zombicide and not the horde of guest boxes and smaller expansions. As a rule, all of these expansions can be used together unless otherwise noted. First up, Season 2 Prison Outbreak. Outbreak comes with all the material needed to play Zombicide and can be the first box you purchase. It comes with 83 equipment cards and 42 zombie cards and introduces new elements such as switches, guard towers, a rotating door and new colored special spawn points. The zombies include 49 standard zombies with different sculpts to the original game and a new class of zombie, the Berserker. Berserkers are immune to ranged attacks and can effectively shield other zombies from ranged attacks, so they ramp up the difficulty when included. There are nine double-sided tiles and they focus on the prison setting, with many tiles showing the interior of a prison and the yard. There are ten scenarios which are a linked story about finding the prison, busting into it and making it a home. The scenarios only use material from this box. There are six characters included in this set, my favourites are Shannon, as Point Blank is a very handy starting skill, and Belle, as fast moving characters are almost always useful. The game also introduces Zombivores, which are versions of your characters who have been bitten and turned, but somehow retain their minds. We personally use them infrequently. Overall, Prison Outbreak is good, Berserker Zombies are an excellent addition to the game, the setting and the story feel coherent, and the new mechanics are good. The characters have good variety, and while I don't really care for Zombivores, their figures are nice and the options are good. Next up, Toxic City Mall. This is the first expansion that is not a standalone game. It combines well with Season 1 and 2, but offers less to Season 3. It comes with 44 equipment cards and 12 zombie cards and introduces some new elements, such as the coloured special spawn points, barricades to hold back zombies, a funky new first player token, and rubble tokens. The zombies included are 29 toxic zombies, a new type that explodes when you kill them at close range doing damage. By themselves they add to the difficulty, but when combined with berserkers from Season 2 they can be downright awful. There are four double-sided tiles and they depict a local mall and shops. One of the coolest things about the mall is you can drive cars into it. There are ten scenarios in the book, five that combine with Season 1 and five that combine with Season 2. There are four characters included in the set and Nima is my favourite. Her born leader ability is exceptionally useful. The characters also come with their Zombivores, and the expansion includes updated character cards for the Season 1 survivors and Zombivores for them as well. There is also the introduction of Ultra Red Mode, where your characters can continue gaining skills and XP past Red Level, and unlock ridiculously over the top weapons. I'm a big fan of this game mode because it adds a ridiculous level of ultra violence to the game. If you have Season 1 or 2, Toxic City Mall is the first thing I would get next. Toxic Zombies are a great addition to the game. Ultra Red Mode is hilarious, and the missions in the book are fun. Next up, Season 3, Rumorg. As a standalone season, Rumorg has all you need to play Zombicide and can be the first box you purchase. It comes with 86 equipment cards and 48 zombie cards, and it introduces some new elements, such as special dice, event triggers, tents, team orders, competitive mode, and a helicopter. Team orders are an interesting inclusion, but the competitive mode doesn't do much for me personally, as we prefer playing this game fully cooperative. The zombies are a whopping 80 Skinner zombies who are essentially the base zombies of Rue Morgue. They function like normal zombies, but have a tendency not to die as easily. The addition of crawlers, which are Skinners that have been wounded but not killed, also adds to the difficulty. There are 9 double sided tiles and they focus on a medical center setting on one side and a light commercial district on the other. The game comes with a 10 scenario campaign and 2 competitive scenarios. There are 12 characters in the set, and none of them come with Zombivore figures, which are sold separately. I personally like this decision. Rumorg might be the best starter box for Zombicide, simply because of the extra characters it has and the option it gives you. The only negative is it doesn't combine well with Toxic City Mall. Finally, Angry Neighbors. The second big box expansion that is not a standalone game. It is stuff that can be used with all three seasons, but to get the best value from it, you need all three seasons. It comes with 27 equipment cards and 12 zombie cards and has the following extras. Damage buildings, barricades, and companions. Companions are support characters that you can obtain and they give a passive bonus to a character as well as an active bonus. Think of them as extras or supporting characters in a movie. The zombies included are 18 Seeker Zombies, a group of zombies who move exceptionally fast and aggressively. Seekers are my least favorite zombie type as I find them a little bit random. Sometimes they can be harmless, but a few bad draws can make them nightmarish. There are three double-sided tiles and they depict damage and ruined buildings. 
Tiles are okay, but the highlight of Angry Neighbors is that it comes with 15 scenarios, 5 compatible with each season. There are 4 characters included in this set complete with their zombivores. Tiff is my favorite simply because her model is absolutely hilarious. Ultra Red Mode is also available for Angry Neighbors and it comes with cards for that. Overall, Angry Neighbors is probably the weakest of the boxes, with its high point being the number of scenarios available. My recommended purchase order for Zombicide is Season 2, Toxic City Mall, Season 3, Season 1, Angry Neighbors.